What is going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Football Manager 2017 video. Today it's another video of my Football Manager Wonder Kids for FM17 and we are looking at the best defensive mids, the best defensive mid Wonder Kids in Football Manager 2017. If you've not seen the goalkeepers and defenders be sure to go and check that video out. There will be a link down below in the description if you haven't seen it already. Also if you are liking the series be sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video and if you are new around here be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel for more Football Manager content. But let's get into the best Wonder Kids in Football Manager 2017. Now, just a quick disclaimer. I put this in every video. These are the players that have the highest player potential. Now, they may not always reach the player potential depending on how they are developed through the club. And if you sign them specifically, if you just ignore them or you don't give them loan or you don't give them game time, then they will not develop to their full potential. But at the start of the game, these are the players with the highest player potential let's get into it okay so i'm starting off with the player who is valued the least when you first load up football manager here's a 19 year old spanish uh, defensive mid who is still on a youth contract by the way but he's valued at forty three thousand pounds which is obviously very low for a footballer and he's only on 55 pounds per week the 19 year old spaniard plays for valencia b team obviously over in spain and he is best suited to a deep line playmaker in the defensive mid uh, spot and you can see some of the attributes he's got already they're pretty decent you know the lowest for the you know the role that he has to play is 12 so it's kind of surprising that his value is so low and obviously you can actually sign him on a free uh, transfer when you first load up the game you just have to pay a compensation fee and so on a uh, compensation of around 600 thousand pounds you may actually be better getting him on a transfer but as i said this guy has got some decent attributes so he will definitely be l worth looking at in football manager 2017 moving on to the next guy we've got manu Morales, Morales. I'm not too sure how you say this guy's name. I do struggle with most names. If you guys are familiar with my channel, then you will know that he's valued at 190,000 pounds. He's 17 years of age, so a bit younger than the last guy. He is a Villarreal B, so obviously he's still on a youth contract as well. But if you look at, he's literally pretty much the carbon copy of these. Uh, you know, the guy I've just shown you. He's actually suited to a deep line playmaker, but his attributes are actually worse off. But he's valued more. Obviously, that's probably due to with age and probably the club he's at and so on. I'm not too sure. I'd imagine it is due to age. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the series, I just thought I'd let you know now. I'm going to show you all the players right now. And then we'll look at them in five years' time to see how they have developed. But let's move on to the next guy anyway. Okay, so the value of the next guy has gone up quite a bit to be fair this guy was a, a wonder kid in football manager 2016 as well and i believe he probably was in football manager 2015 so if you have played these games this series then you will know about this guy everyone knows about this guy and yet again he is pretty much similar to the other guys we've shown you but he is a lot more obviously uh, developed in his progress he is 19 years of age however he is he's actually made two caps for portugal obviously portuguese he's playing in the portuguese league for porto i'm quite sure he is porto's captain uh, let me have a look at this. Uh, he's not actually. I just probably made that up. But I think he has captained Porto, or he's been a captain of something at least in the past. Because I've read about him that he was the youngest ever player to captain, either the national team or his uh, club team. Correct me if I am wrong in that. But he, obviously, he's already a first team start for Porto. He's only 19 years of age, as I said. His value is six million pounds. He does have one of them strange things where he's part owned by someone which is a bit odd but you know you look at his attributes and look how well rounds the already is at 19 years of age this guy is going to be an absolute world beater without a doubt you can tell that just by looking at his attributes at age just 19 okay so we're moving on to our next guy and it is a uh, bazoa i believe that's how you say his name he is actually a wonder kid in fm16 as well just like ruben nevers i don't think i actually said ruben nevers his name if i didn't there we go there's his name but this guy's similar to uh, ruben nevers and the other lads that we've shown you he is a deep line playmaker but he also can play a couple of the other roles very well indeed as well and he's actually well suited to center mid rather than center defensive mid as well he's valued at six and a half million pounds so just more than ruben nevers he does have a four-year contract at ajax 19 years of age dutch and he's actually got six caps for uh the netherlands already to be fair to him again like ruben nevers his attributes are very very well developed well rounded as well so far just such a young uh, age in his career and i'm just going to give you a little spoiler this guy has the highest player potential out of all these players you're about to see. So my money is on him to actually be the best in five years time. Then we're moving on to the guy who has the highest value. Uh, he doesn't have the highest player potential. 
but it's uh, Julian Vigel, obviously, from uh, Borussia Dortmund. He's valued at £23 million already when you first load the game up. The 20-year-old German international, obviously, he's made one cap for Germany, is best suited to the defensive mid spot. He can also play in, um, you know, centre mid as well, like most of these guys, to be fair. But defensive mid, deep line playmaker, that is probably where you're going to get the most joy out of uh, Vigel. As I said, 20 years of age, valued at £23 million. He's actually only on £8.25,000 per week in his contract. Let's see if he's got a bio clause. Okay, so he hasn't got a bio clause. However, you look at his attributes, and again, he is one of them players that is very, very well uh, developed at such a young age in his career. But let's go and jump five years into the future and see what these guys look like then. Okay, so we are back five years into the future. As you can see, it's now July 20. Uh, 21 and I've sorted the players by the uh, value right now and we'll come to the better players in just a moment but we will start off with the player of least value he is wanted by a club let's see who wants him Sheffield Wednesday so that's giving you an indication of what type of a uh, team are interested in him are they in the Premier League they're actually in the Premier League to be fair so you know mid-table Premier League teams are after this guy it is Manu Morales Mor I'm not even going to try and pronounce it again he's only 22 years of age so he does still have quite a fair few years ahead of him that's the thing I've only simulated five years into the future not 10 because you may miss the peak whereas here we're probably just starting to get into the peak or maybe just before their peak uh, performance levels 22 years of age he's yet to make a cap for Spain he's valued at 6.25 million pounds and if we're just highlighting some of his key attributes they're not really as high as the other lads even when they first loaded the game so maybe his development hasn't been the best he has moved clubs a lot he's had one two maybe these could be loans but three four five clubs in five years that's absolutely crazy so obviously that could have played a part in the fact that he's not developed as well as he could but let's move on to the next guy anyway okay so moving on to the next guy it's carlos uh, Soler, 24 years of age he is now at valencia he again is yet to make a cap for spain but he is valued at 6.25 million pounds on exactly the same book in terms of thousand uh, pounds per week contract if that even makes sense he basically is on a 16.25 thousand pound per week contract but again this guy's uh, attributes are much better than the last fellow we have just shown you he's moved about a bit as well um since we loaded the game he was at valencia b wasn't he then he went to valencia obviously the natural progression then he went to zaragoza obviously some of these are probably loans i probably should be taking a look at this in more detail let's go up to history yeah so quite a few of them are loans he went to zaragoza on loan alivers uh, Las Palmas, then he went to Roma on loan, then he went to Malaga on loan, and he's still at Valencia, so obviously he's not actually fully transferred, to be fair to him, but he has gone around a bit in terms of loan deals. Uh, his attributes, just taking a look at some of the key ones there, you can pause this video if you want to take a look, and obviously 24 years of age, he's still got quite a few uh, more years left ahead of him, before he potentially even reaches his peak, he could still, you know, peak at like 26, 27, potentially even 28 years of age, so this guy is a decent option, for a decent Premier League team, to be fair. Now we're starting to up the uh, ability, to be fair. We've got Ruben Neves. He's valued at £23 million, age 24 years of age. Uh, surprisingly, he's actually only made 11 caps for Portugal. I believe he already had some when we actually loaded the game. So 11 caps in like five years isn't that great, to be honest. Yeah, so you can see down here, international debut was in 2015. And he actually took five years to score his first international goal. Which is uh, quite surprising, given that he scores like 1 in 10 or even less than 1 in 10, to be fair, for Porto. But obviously, he's still at Porto. He's not been on loan or anything like that, which is pretty impressive. He obviously has very high average match ratings as well. But let's go back to Neves, because I've just gone completely off him. He's earning £36,000 per week. He is now a first-teamer. You may have noticed that was rotation before. But uh, if you do look, I can't actually scout him, to be fair. But if you do look... That's pretty impressive, to be fair. Them attributes are all very, very consistently high. You'd really want to get this guy in your team. And if you can manage to get him away from Porto, especially at a younger age where his value is less, you've definitely got to do it. Okay, so moving on to our next guy. He is the second most valuable on this list, and it is uh, Bazoa. He is worth £30 million, and he's actually at Chelsea, but he is a rotated player, which is probably why he's not reached his full potential. We'll look at that in just a moment, because I did say before, he is the one with the highest player potential, so maybe in a different save, a different simulation, he may have actually reached the highest uh, value out of all these players. But to be fair, he is pretty decent, isn't he? Let's be honest. You look at them attributes, and they are pretty impressive. You can't, uh, you can't deny that, to be fair. Chelsea have got a decent player in him. They may actually play him at centre-back. I noticed on Football Manager 2016, who's played at centre-back a lot. Uh, he's actually made 45 caps for uh, the Netherlands, getting two goals, to be fair. So he's obviously a first-team regular for uh, 
Uh, the Netherlands, to be fair, for his national team. At Chelsea, he's a rotation player. You can see there in his contract. Does he have any, like, bio clause or anything like that? He doesn't. So, let's see when he joined Chelsea. He joined Chelsea, like, five seasons ago, essentially. And uh, he was bought for £26 million back then. But, as you can see, he's had a bit of an inconsistent time. A lot of substitute appearances. A couple of starts, to be fair to him. But, you know, he's not really been hitting the height. He probably isn't a first-teamer. He's probably rotated. And he's not really been above a seven-match rating. Whereas you can see, when he was at Ajax, he was consistently. So, maybe Bazua isn't someone that's reached his potential. But, believe you me, guys, he does have the highest player potential of the defensive mids. So, you need to snap him up when he is young. And now, we move on to, uh, controversially... I'll get to the controversial part in just a moment. But, uh, Vigel, or Weagel, whatever the hell you call him. I think it's Vigel, uh, from... It was Borussia Dortmund, but now it's Bayern Munich. Obviously, they're rivals. This is a move that a lot of players make, to be fair. You can kind of justify it. He has won quite a lot with uh, Bayern Munich compared to what he won with Dortmund, to be fair to him. But um, as you can see, he's actually valued at £41.5 million on a £135,000 per week uh, contract. He's actually a first team, which is good to see. And that's strange, right? How has he made a cap for Germany? But the German national team isn't in this game. That's really, really odd. Maybe it was at, like the Olympics or something. Because if you play football manager, the German national team isn't in the game unless you put it in. And I completely forgot to do so. So obviously that would be much higher if I did do so. But he's 25 years of age. And to be fair, he is probably the best defensive mid in the world. I'll take a look at that in just a moment. He did make a lot of appearances for Dortmund. We'll take a look at that. He made a lot of appearances for Dortmund before moving to Bayern Munich, and he's had three full seasons there, or maybe two and a half seasons. Maybe he joined in January, but for £66 million. Pounds. That makes him one of the most expensive players in world football for a defensive mid. That is very, very impressive, to be fair. Let's just go and see, in terms of defensive mids, who is the most expensive in the world. Okay, so in terms of defensive mids, he is actually technically the most expensive player in the world. That's because I believe Kimmich and Renato Sanchez are actually both uh, midfielders. You will see Renato Sanchez in my centre mid. A uh, Wonder Kids video that will be coming up. But Regal, I believe, is the out-and-out -out, uh, defensive mid, the most expensive one in the world, which is pretty decent to see. That has been all for my Football Manager 2017 defensive mid Wonder Kids video. If you have enjoyed, be sure to let me know by dropping a like on the video. Also, if you're considering getting one of these players, let me know who you're going to go for and how much you are willing to spend on them. And also, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel to keep your eyes peeled for more Football Manager content, including my Hertha Berlin save and more Wonder Kids and guides and so on and all that good stuff. But thank you all for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>